this is just going to be a quick video on how to read the codes. Uh, the service engine light or the check engine light did stay on really bright. What you'll do is turn your key off and on three times fairly quick uh, within a couple of seconds but on the third time leave it on then we'll start counting the lights. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay. Now we're looking for a six followed by one. Three, four, five, six. Code to be a 61 and a 1. That indicates the end of the code read. Now it's just going to repeat. I know from researching earlier the 10 will be a 0, so we're looking for a 352. Let's go in and take a quick look. ECV860 is mine, but you can see this is the same for several different models. That's you got to do your research, guys. You got to find out exactly what you've got. So we come down here and we see a 0352 is cylinder number 2, ignition cold malfunction. A 351 would be cylinder number 1. I'll show you how to quickly identify cylinders number 1 and 2 on Kohler twin cylinder engines. Okay, on identifying cylinders number 1 and 2, this is a Kohler twin fuel injected engine. Kohler tells you to stand, this is a vertical crankshaft. They tell you to stand at the back, look at where the carburation is. In this case, it's fuel injection. But the air intake port is right in the middle. Cylinder number one is on the left, two is on the right. Or, on the horizontal engines and vertical, Kohler is saying the starter side is number one, always. And the oil filter is by cylinder number two. Your mileage may vary. The coal is very easy to take off. This bolt was used for this clip right here, just for the plug bar, so I will be removing this, putting it back on. And then just two bolts up here in that simple primary input. Just two wires and a single clip. And carefully reinstall your plug wires. We'll go ahead and get the new one on and see how it sounds. It's my battle that one. I did not have to remove that. Be very careful with these. You can see how small these wires are. I'm going to use a little silicone grease in the spark plug boots. Oh yeah. It just makes me feel so good. You can feel it. I didn't think that one was going to go. I'm looking at the other side and just making sure my orientation's kind of identical. I felt that one snap on. Okay, here it goes. It's a cold start. Skag set all night. I'll let the fuel pump pump up a little pressure. It will lose overnight. Perfectly normal. You would not believe how bad it sounded when it lost that coil. Good deal. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comment section. And thank you for watching, and have a good one out there. Work safe.